Capricorn. The heck is this called? Allison, you're the worst YouTuber. What is up, you guys? It has been a minute since I have uploaded. There's been, I mean, I don't know. It's like somebody gets sick, then the next person gets sick, then I threw my back out, then Eric was traveling. It's just been one thing after the next. Anyhow, today we are going to be reviewing, demoing, tutorial, all of it. The Contour Book by Kevin Aquan in the Volume 3 edition, as well as the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop eyeshadow palette and I am so excited to share these with you. I created this here looky look with both of them so if you want to see how I get the look please keep watching but before you do don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below I am so close to a thousand and if you do like the video please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload I will also be sure to put timestamps in the description box below because I plan to do a little review and tutorial final thoughts swatches all that jazz so you can skip ahead to the parts you really want to see with all that being said let's go ahead and get started First, I'll go ahead and I will talk about this Nude Pop eyeshadow palette. This is the newest eyeshadow palette that they've launched, I believe, at least as of right now. Also, can we talk about these nails? Are they not so cute? This might go up on Halloween, so happy Halloween. If Halloween has passed, then I hope you guys had fun. Let's go ahead and open her up. This is what she looks like on, ooh, maybe we'll flip it, yeah. So this is what she looks like on the inside. You're getting a total of 12 eyeshadows. The palette retails for $57. You're gonna get a combination of mattes, shimmers, pearls, and foiled glitter textures. The formulas are all really beautiful. I think that while you are paying more money than some of your other brands that you can pick up in Sephora or Ulta, the formula of these are just to die for. You'll see in the tutorial how effortlessly they go on. I'll go ahead and do swatches for you as well. My biggest gripe about the palette is I feel like it really could have used another warm matte in here just to kind of balance it out because you have all these really pretty nude neutrals. It's definitely a cooler palette which is something that I have needed in my collection. I just wish that they put in one more warm tone. I have found that I will go into my contour book and use some of those just to balance everything out. I did not today. I just completely used this so that you could see how it applies, but I just want to give you guys my honest opinion. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. If you are a beginner and the way that I did this tutorial, I really did kind of like go through everything. It is a little bit more pricey, like I said, but it's going to make your life so much easier. And now I want to go ahead and talk about the Volume 3 Contour Book. Look how pretty. I don't know if you can see, but it's like it shifts, like the colors shift on it. You do get a nice big mirror. I still have, I, I always forget to like take these off, but a really nice big mirror here and you're getting three sculpting powders and this is light, this is medium, and this is deep. Is it deep? Yeah. Deep. You're getting two highlighters in flash and beam. I believe these two shades are new to their illuminator collection. They have candlelit powders which are more I would say akin to the hourglass ambient lighting powders. These are the illuminating powders which are meant to be true highlighters. And then this is their neo bronzer. I use this, I mean you can use it all different sorts of ways, but today you'll see that I kind of used it as blush and bronzer and then just like this kind of glowiness effect with this end of it as well. And this is the Neo Bronzer and it's in the shade Venice. Like I just don't have enough to say, uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I can't say enough about this palette. Holy cow, you guys, I have not put it down since I got it. The formulas, I mean, I know I said that about the eyeshadows. I, I don't know what wowed me more. Maybe this palette, like if I had to 
choose between both. Like, I wouldn't want to have to make that choice, but I think you get a real lot of bang for your buck with these. You can use all of them as eyeshadows, you've got your highlights, but I've never seen a powder contour that is so creamy and just so blendable. And the shades, I mean, unfortunately, I don't think anybody that is too deep in skin tone would be able to use this volume three contour book, but if you are medium, light, even like on the tanner side, because you can use this deep and then use these as eyeshadows, it will work for you. I really recommend it. If you want to go the route that I went, they do make this travel size contour highlight set. I want to say it's $25 just to kind of try the formula. That is what I did before I went in and got this palette. I did get this for 20% off and I do believe the Sephora VIB Rouge sale is coming up. I want to say like November 4th, maybe beginning of November. And I would just highly recommend both of these palettes. So I'll go ahead and swatch them for you now. And then after that, I'll get into the tutorial. Creation, Surreal, Hue, Graffiti, Sculpt, Sketch, Mosaic, Design, Canvas, Masterpiece, Portrait, and Mural. So to start, I'm going to go in with my Alamar Cosmetics Fluffy Blender Brush. It comes in like a pack of three for $18. I'm going to probably use two of the three brushes today. I really do enjoy these brushes. If you're a beginner or you're just looking for some good quality brushes, I would check that out. I will link everything that I use in the description box down below. So the very first thing we're going to do is go into a combination of this shade right here called Surreal, as well as Design. So I'm just going to tap my brush into both of those shades, like so. And we're just gonna go into the transition area. And you know what? Let me just zoom this in a little closer for you guys. That being said, don't judge my eyebrows. I really need to tweeze that. Okay, I think that's better, so. I did prime my eyes with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and set it with the ColourPop setting powder. So just wanna let you guys know that. But what I'm doing now is just going into this transition area and I'm just fluffing it in there. And these shadows really and truly make your job so easy and then if you want to lighten it up a little bit you can go back into this shade right here sculpt the lighter of the two or even canvas right here and just tone it down a notch however you see fit I'm gonna go back into the shade sculpt going back into that sculpt shade the lighter of the two and just kind of smoothing it out making it look really nice and buffed out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm switching up my brush and I'm just going to use, it's a shorter, denser brush. This is the Crown C511. And now we're going to dip into the shade right here and it's called Sketch. Now I'm gonna go from my lash line kind of up towards my crease here. And we're gonna keep this, I don't know if you can see how effortlessly the, these shadows go on and blend. They basically do the work for you. I know it's a little more expensive than like your Morphe's or I don't know, drugstore brands in general, but 
if you're a beginner and you want to make your life a little bit easier, I would suggest going for something like this, a little bit maybe higher end if you really want to up your game because it will make your life just a ton easier. I'm just going to add a little bit more and then do the same thing on the other eye. As for pigmentation, these are definitely pigmented but not like overly pigmented if that makes sense like you they're so easily blendable sometimes if there's too much pigment in eyeshadows they're just much harder to work with and blend out but these like really make your job so easy and effortless now I'm just taking that Alamar brush that we used initially the blending the fluffy blender and I'm just circle motions right here and making it nice and soft and blown out so you get a nice gradient effect and not just like dark shadow light shadow and just this harsh line same thing other side and if you haven't done this before, like it's gonna feel like you're going up really high, but that's okay, just practice. Now I think I'm gonna just darken, like really, really lightly darken up the most outer part of the lid here. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Design. Usually I use this as like more of an eyeliner, but I kinda wanna just play with it. It's just such a different, color story that I normally go for, which is why I wanted to pick it up on this eye. See, I'm just like tapping it in. And now that I have nothing left on the brush, I'm just kind of gonna blend that into the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with another LMR Cosmetics brush. They call this their flat painter brush. That comes in that set of three. Actually, let me just show you. You're gonna get all three of these brushes for $18. Your fluffy blender, your lid brush, what they call the flat painter, which is in the middle, and then this flat definer brush, which I love using for under my lash line and just lash line in general. If you guys haven't done BoxyCharm yet, I got this in my BoxyCharm, what, like two months ago? It is so worth it. So anyways, yeah, let's let's keep it moving. Keep it moving, Allison. You can tell it's been a long time since I've filmed. All right, let's go into Surreal now, this one right here. First, I'm gonna apply it dry. I'm not going to wet my brush, let you guys see what that looks like. And so basically we're going from the lid over, well from the lid over, from the center of the lid over. Do the same thing on this side. So you can see like it's really pretty. It's a very subtle shimmer, like a pearl finish. It will become more intense if you wet your brush, which I will go ahead and do that in just a minute. So now I'm just gonna spray some Fix Plus on the brush and go on in. And it just kind of makes it a bit more intense. But it really is such a pretty neutral color. I'm going back with that mid-size crown brush and going into hue real fast and just kind of bring that back right here a little bit and blend it into that dark shade on the outermost part of my lid. That's better. Make sure everything is soft and blended. All right, and so now for my lower lash line, 
Let's go back into that same shade hue that I just went into to buff everything out. And we're just gonna dust this using that same crown brush on the lower lash line. Now, I always like to go in very light-handed because you can always build it up. It's much easier to build it up than it is to try and take away. I always say that. And I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of a sketch and we're just gonna do that right on this outer part. and just make sure that it connects up here. And if you are new to makeup, just use your brow as a guide. You don't necessarily, unless you're doing some crazy dramatic look, like this is where you just wanna imagine that there's like a line from like the end of your brow to your nose and that's really where you're gonna want your shadow to go out to. And then we'll do a little inner corner highlight and we're going to use this white shade right here, it's called Creation. This one is pretty, but I'll do it dry. This one I do like wetting my brush to give it that extra pop. And by the way, this little detail brush right here, it is super tiny. And it is also a crown brush and this is the C527. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like when I spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus. Yeah. And then we'll just hit right up on the brow bone. I'm not gonna wet it anymore. I don't think it needs to be crazy highlighted up here and it's still a little wet from before. Now, if you wanted to give it like a little extra, like a zhuzh, so to speak, then you could go in with maybe like this shade or this shade right on the center of the lid. And I guess just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll go ahead and show you. I'm gonna use my finger. You can use a brush, although I do have these nails on. I don't know how that's gonna work. They're longer than usual, um, but we're gonna try it. We are going to go in with Masterpiece. I think that'll look really pretty with this look. And we're just gonna do the center of each lid. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it on. These are kind of more glitter than anything else, but they're pretty. Do a little bit on my lower lash line, see how that looks. So let me try spraying my brush with Fix Plus and going in. Oh, that's pretty. That works. That works surprisingly well. Okay, cool. And then now we're gonna go into the shade right here again, Design, with the Flat Definer Brush by Alamar. And I'm going to do my liner with that and just press it on. And I'm going to go ahead and push up under my lashes, tight line just a bit. Then I'm gonna jump off camera, put on some mascara, and come back and show you the contour base palette. Wait, is that what it's called? No, Allison, get it together. 
the contour book volume three back <laughs> so I am still gonna be pretty close not as close as I was doing the eyes because I think you can still see everything pretty good being a little bit further back and not so uncomfortably close <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started with the contour book. To start this little shindig, I'm gonna go into the medium powder right here, which is like my favorite contour powder ever, just as far as color, formula, literally blends like into your skin, just melts. It's just beautiful. And I am using the Luxie, it's the Precision Foundation Brush, actually, like that's what it's for. But I just like how it's tapered and it's not as dense as other contour brushes that I have used in the past. So yeah, it's going into the medium sculpting powder and just going from the top of the ear here to about there, like where the tail of the brow ends. That's where I'm placing it up under the jawbone and very light to start. Then I take that same color, the medium, and I kind of just wrap it up around the perimeter of my face. Then I'm gonna go back in and kind of do the perimeter down here, this jawbone. And I go really, really light-handed on my contour because you can start to look real funky real fast. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more intense, you can go into the deep shade and really concentrate that right here a little dark for me I have been using it as like an eye shadow and it's lovely that way but there you have it okay now I'm gonna go and move into my nose contour and for that I'm using my morphe e22 and it's just kind of like tapered up here and I don't know I like it to do my nose contour I'm gonna go into the lightest shade on the palette and I am really, contouring your nose is tricky. I mean, I don't go in with a crazy contour on anything as you can see, but I kind of start here. Like if you're looking straight on, it's just like this. And then connect it to the brow. So you can see like this is just a little bit, like it has just a little bit more definition than this side. But you want to make sure that you get your symmetry on your nose contour otherwise you will look funny real fast and then now that that's done I'm going to just kind of connect it on the bottom now I just dipped into my pure four-in-one powder and I'm just like very lightly gonna brush over this edge and circle it down so it just looks really nice and soft like nose contours you have to be very very careful with otherwise you're gonna look real funny I'm just really like getting the edges nice and buffed out. Now, like if you're trying to shorten your nose, like you can take the contour powder and like bring it a little higher even, and that will shorten the look of your nose. So the closer you make those lines, the skinnier your nose looks, and then the higher up you bring the contour in your nose, the shorter it looks. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna take that light shade again and just put it under my lip here. And that's gonna make your lip look more plump. If you think about it, if you have a bigger, fuller lip, it's going to create more of a shadow, like cast a shadow there. Now I'm gonna go in with a 
big full brush. This is the Aesthetica P12 brush. I also got this in BoxyCharm. And I'm gonna go into this blush, bronzer, whatever they call it, powder. What do they call this? It's their Neo Bronzer. Anyways, I am going to go kind of like towards this end of the spectrum, kind of tapping in here, over to here. And bringing it up here. Now I'm concentrating more in like the middle, right here, like pink to the lighter pink, and doing this area here. Whoops, don't wanna cover that. And then the lightest of that, I'm just kinda like putting over here. I don't know if you can see, like, oh God, it just looks so pretty. Mm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, and I'm using the Morphe M5. And these shades really kind of, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but it kind of reminds me, not exactly, but of the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop, like kind of similar. And this is the flash sage. So this flash shade, this is the peachier of the two. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And then right like on the higher points of the face here, I'm doing the gold color. And that is called Beam. So pretty. And then I'm gonna just do a combination of the two, just dip dab in both and do the Cupid's bow. And now with a super teeny tiny brush, this is the Morphe E36 brush. I'm gonna go in with just flash, the peachy of the two, and go right up the bridge of my nose. And then just press it in with my finger. Now just spray everything and throw on a gloss. What gloss do I wanna do? I'm just gonna throw on some of my City Lips in the shade Crimson. I think that'll look really pretty. Here's the final look. I wanna get close. Like, I don't even know, like, if you can see how nice my skin looks. It is so good, even, like, close up. I feel like so many times on YouTube, whether it's skin blurring filters or just the lighting, like, So if you're still with me, if you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As of right now, I am like really close to a thousand. I feel like I keep saying that. It's kind of like been a process, but I'm so close. I feel like it's actually <coughs> gonna happen, which is just hard for me to believe. So anyways, Thank you guys so much. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.